First off, get Adam Gase as far away from the facility as possible. Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. So check it out. The D6 Squad has merch now. We got hoodies, tees, mugs, whatever you need. Check it out. Link in the description. What's going on, YouTube? Diggy546. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. Listen, before you start throwing stones at me, before you do it, I understand Jets fans, you're angry. You lost out on Trevor Lawrence. I don't think you're going to get him back. I don't think you're getting that first pick back. And unless the Jaguars make a, a, a big mistake and pass on Trevor Lawrence and take Justin Fields with the first pick or pull something like taking Zach Wilson or Trey Lance with the first pick, which won't happen, the Jets are not going to get Trevor Lawrence. It's not going to happen. He would have he would have flipped that franchise around so quick. It, it's been ridiculous, man. Um, I really think that Trevor Lawrence come to any team he comes to. I think he's going to be already a top 12, 13 quarterback in the NFL as soon as he gets in the, into the NFL. Even with that Jess roster, of course they would have gotten him some help. But even with that Jess roster, I believe that he'd be a top half of the league quarterback as soon as he got into the NFL. Look at what Justin Herbert is doing. Think of that on steroids. I just think that's how good he'd be in the league as far as, you know, snap to snap, everything. But let's let's not dwell on it. I know Jets fans, you don't want to hear about Trevor Lawrence. But here's my hot take. Here's what I have to add to this situation as a Giants fan. We're buddies. We're buddies. We're New York buddies. Listen, the Jets should keep Sam Darnold. The Jets should keep Sam Darnold, and here's why. And, and hear me out. Hear me out. The Jets should keep Sam Darnold. First off, he's been in a horrible situation his entire career as a New York Jet. First off, last year he missed some games with Mono. You can blame that on him. You cannot blame it on him. Whatever you want to do about that. But he missed those games. Missed three games with Mono. Uh, we saw how bad their backup was and how awful they looked with their backup last year. And Sam Donald, when he came back, he let that team go on a run. I mean, they won a lot of their second half games, and they ended up winning seven games. Sam Donald went seven and six that year. That's in his second year with what we all consider one of the more atrocious, out of place, not qualified, just playing out bad coaches in the NFL. You take away his impact player on defense. And Jamal Adams. You take away another impact player on defense and Leonard Williams, uh, who's who's making plays on the Giants right now. So you take away the defense. You, you, they're not really going to do much. And then on the offense, you let his only receiver, his only number one kind of receiver, get away. Robbie Anderson goes down to the Carolina Panthers. Why the Jets decided not to re-sign Robbie Anderson when we saw what Sam Donald was able to do with him is beyond me. Now, Sam Donald has never thrown for 20 touchdowns in the NFL, but he's also never played a full season. So maybe he's injury prone, but he's playing 13 games. So to me, that's not too bad. What does he have to throw to? It was Jamison Crowder or bust. Uh, Brashad Perryman came on a couple of games, but let's be real. He does not have much to throw to. Frank Gore is, he should not be playing. I don't know how old he is, but he's like 37 or 38. He should not be playing. He's your number one back. Are you kidding me? Le'Veon Bell, he's unmotivated. He's a guy that likes to dance and cha-cha behind the line of scrimmage for five minutes before he decides to get up the field. Sam Donald has not been in a productive situation. Sam Donald was a guy with a strong arm coming out of college, a guy with mobility coming out of college who can throw on the run, different platforms. I mean, he can do it all physically as a quarterback. And sure, he makes mistakes sometimes. Sure, he's been on a team that is was on the brink of going 0-16, even though he missed, I think he's missed games already this year. I think he missed two or three games. Even though he's on that team, you have to give, the, you have to give him a chance, man. Give Sam Donald another chance. Go into this draft. Trade that top two, three pick, because if they win another game, that's that's top two, three, four pick. At that point, it's really getting hazy. 
you're not going to have a shot at Justin Fields at that point. And something tells me that Bill Belichick has got something cooking and the Jets are going to get another win. <laughs> so trade that pick. Trade it back. Or if you're at number four or five, just go ahead and snatch up Jamar Chase. Snatch up Jamar Chase. Snatch up. Get Just build that team out. You got Makai back then. That is a huge building block for the offensive line. You need to build this roster out. Attack free agency heavy. Get them a weapon in free agency. Get them a weapon in the draft. You know, use a third, fourth round pick on another receiver and give him a chance. This will be his fourth year in the NFL in the end of his rookie contract. I understand he's been, he's had his downs, but he has not had a good situation. First off, get Adam Gates as far away from the facility as possible. Get him out of there and restart it. Try, I mean, get on your knees and beg for Eric Bieniemy to come. Give him all the money he wants. And let's watch, let's watch Sam Darnold with all those physical tools and that toughness and the experience of having to go through what he's gone through. Let Sam Darnold gain some of that confidence back and be that quarterback that I saw him be in the second half of that season. He was playing really good at that quarterback spot. Give him a shot. <laughs> you you got to give him a shot because Trevor Lawrence is off the board. Anything goes. I justify this point. I justify this point of view by saying this. If you stick Trevor Lawrence on the Jets this year, how many games do they win? I think Trevor Lawrence this year, he wins four or five games with the Jets. Just because he's going to create, he's going to do things that just, just frankly aren't normal. Because he's not a normal prospect. He's not going to be a normal quarterback. He's a guy that I already see as being on the brink of elite when he comes into the NFL. But stick Justin Fields on the Jets this year. Stick Trey Lance on the Jets this year. Stick Zach Wilson or Mac Jones or Kyle Trask on the Jets this year. And what do you get? You get pretty much the same. You don't have anything around them. You have horrible coaching. You have coaches that... I talk about Jason Garrett on the Giants not getting receivers open. Well, the Jets have worse weapons, and they're running the same kinds of plays of not letting these receivers get open. It's just not working out. Now, sure, they were finally able to beat the Rams, but the Jets don't have much of a team. So I say this. Trade it. Get as much draft capital as you can. Attack free agency with smart moves. Build this roster out. Build the defense out a little bit, too to give him a shot at winning some of these games. And, you know, give him two, three more weapons. Jamison Crowder is okay. He has been he was a nightmare in Washington for a couple of years. He was pretty good this year. But get him a legit number one target. You saw what he did with Robbie Anderson. Get him someone else like that. And let him just let him play on from there. So if you made it this deep into the video, I'm calling you a D6 squad member. If you're a D6 squad member, you gotta hit that subscribe button. You gotta turn on that notification bell. And listen, I make all kinds of content for NFL teams. So if you're not a Giants fan, don't worry. I'll cover your team. If I'm not covering your team, let me know and have a good one.